Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Mountain and today I'm going to take you through some stretches and asanas for your glutes. So let's jump right in. We're going to begin this session in a pigeon pose. So this is a very popular pose for your glutes, for stretching your glutes. So what we're going to do is bring the right leg underneath the body and then your left leg back nice and straight with your toes tucked under. Now if you can bring your foot up here closer to a right angle please do so but finding a comfortably a comfortable angle for your foot and your leg and then what we're going to do is we're going to stay up here with our chest up i'm going to be rising up so we don't want to sink down we're going to be rising up just creeping the foot back at the back if you need to now you should feel the stretch through your glute if you need to rock from side to side a little to find that stretch, that extra deep stretch, please do so. And we're going to stay here for a few breaths. If you need to bring some blocks down to the side, you can do so as well for your hands. Just find that nice stretch. We're going to inhale, open the chest, and exhale, folding forwards and down. Bring your chest down and your hands down towards the mat. And let your head hang nicely. Bring your forehead down to the mat. And relaxing your shoulders and your arms. And you feel a little bit of a deeper stretch into the glute muscles here. So again, you can wriggle around a little bit to feel the stretch a bit more. And then just relax everything in the body. You're gonna hold here for a few breaths, or as long as you need. And really notice where the stretch is. Is it really right up through the glute? Is it coming through the IT band? And also you may notice a stretch into your hip flexor as well through the back leg. All right, and then we're gonna inhale and coming back up all the way up, rising the chest upwards. Holding here for a few more breaths. Really enjoy the stretch. And then we're going to come onto our hands, we're going to switch legs. So coming up into a high plank and then switching legs and bring the left leg underneath. Again, finding that comfortable position. And we're going to stay here for a little while. So again, rising up. And if you're a little bit tight like I am today, I can really feel that in my right hip flexor as well as the left glute. So holding here, chest open. And then when you're ready, exhale, coming down. Bring the chest towards the mat. Arms and hands come down, palms facing the ground. And relax into the pose. Wriggling around a little to find a deeper stretch. I'm going to stay here for a few breaths. Notice if there's any difference between your left and your right. Is one tighter than the other? And inhaling all the way back up, coming back up. Opening up the chest again. to lie on our back so it's a figure for lying down so again quite a popular one which you've probably also seen as a seated pose so you're going to start with the right leg bringing it across so the right ankle comes onto the top of just above the knee you want the right knee to come out to the side and then you can bring your legs behind your thigh and bring the thigh towards your body while pushing the knee outwards. So back 
and forwards. So the knee comes back and forwards here, and the left leg you're pulling back towards your body. So you should feel a nice deep stretch here. Again, we're going to hold for a few breaths. Just feel where the stretch is. And relax. And we're going to swap legs. So the left ankle comes on to the right. And bringing the leg up, catching your hands behind your right lower thigh and again drawing the right knee towards you but also making sure that the left knee is staying here on, onto your left and also pushing the left leg forward so it should give you a deeper stretch. Again holding here for a few breaths or however long you need. front so kind of like a cross-legged position but just a little bit in front so you're trying to make a straight line here with your with your left your left shin and then you're bringing the right leg on top so you want to try and get the right the right ankle or the right foot on the top of your left lower lower quad and as you can see I'm very tight so my knees very high up so what you're going to do is you're going to try and get these two uh, parts of your leg to be horizontal and then you're going to inhale open the chest and then exhale folding forwards as far as you can as you can see I'm very tight but I can feel a really nice stretch through the glute here now I'm just bringing my arms behind my back into a crossed crossed arms position so I can keep my spine nice and straight and my chest nice and open as I fold forwards as far as I can. Now I really feel this one higher up in the glute. So it's a really good stretch to stretch through different parts of the muscle as well. And we're gonna hold here for a few more breaths. Breathing through the nose or softly breathing through the mouth. And inhaling back up to center, we're going to swap sides, so bringing the right leg onto the mat at the bottom, and then stacking the left leg on top. Okay, so on this leg, obviously, I'm a little bit looser, which is very nice, and he's coming a bit further down, so wrapping my arms around the back again, opening the chest and then folding forwards and down as far as I can. So again, I feel that really deep stretch into the glute, keeping the spine nice and straight and the chest open. I'm gonna hold for a few more breaths. Try to go a little bit deeper if you can. Such a nice stretch. And inhaling back up to center, awesome. Okay, and the final stretch that we're gonna to do today is a seated twist. So there's two options here, and we'll do both. So the first one, so coming onto your mat, sitting on the, your, your bum, and the first one is bringing your left leg straight, bring the right leg over the left leg onto the other side of the mat. Now you're gonna catch your knee with your arm, keep the chest nice and open, spine nice and straight. Inhale, open the chest, and exhale, bringing the right hand back, and twisting. So we're twisting into the pose, and looking over your right shoulder. Now you want to keep your left foot flexed as well so it's active and keeping the spine nice and tall 
as much as you can and opening the chest. And you should feel a nice stretch through the glute. Holding for a few more breaths. Try and go a little bit further if you can in the twist. And exhale, returning to centre. And we're going to switch legs. So this time the right leg comes out straight, keeping the toes nice and flexed. Bring the left foot over. You can hug your knee or however you want. You can also put your, your elbow across the knee. And inhale, open the chest and exhale into the pose, twisting and looking behind you. So looking over your left shoulder. Keep the spine nice and straight if you can. And inhale and exhale, twisting a little bit more. Holding for a few more breaths. Feel the nice stretch through the glutes. And inhaling back to centre. And finally, the other variation of this pose. You're bringing your foot underneath your body. So kind of underneath your bum. And then you're bringing the right leg over the left again. And again, you're hugging your leg and twisting behind. So open the chest, spine nice and straight, and then twist into the pose. So keeping that shoulder nice and open as well. And looking over your right shoulder, holding for about five breaths. Very nice. So you should feel a nice stretch through the glute. And a couple more breaths. And inhaling back to centre. And finally, we'll do the other side. So bring the right leg under, left leg comes over. And we're going to inhale, open the chest, and exhale, twist. Very nice. And a few more breaths. So try and bring the sit bone. If your sit bone's coming up a little like mine does on the left leg, try and bring it, draw it down towards the mat for a deeper stretch. And a couple more breaths. And inhaling back to center. And that concludes our stretching for today for your glutes. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel.